What is addiction? Addiction is the fact that we all are addicted to certain things in our lives. We all give energy, value, importance, I'll even use the word love, to something that can be destructive. And that's where the challenge lies. That sub we can't be playing this game with substances where we define ourselves for the rest of our lives by substances. Isn't it? Because what happens then, and I'll call and I'm gonna even shift drawings, is that there's the substance, whatever it is, right? And there's us, I, whatever it is. And we have this relationship. So there's a substance and we're always in reaction to the substance. So we play this action versus, you know, for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. So it's what you call it Newtonian physics. That for anything that happens, you will react for every, for tit for tat. And the hassle is you don't want to be just living your life. There was a stressor, and lo behold, I used. So it can't be just for every action, there's a reaction. If for every action, there has to be an infinite potential of possibilities that opens up to anything and everything. So you do not be, as we were suggesting maybe, that you are the result of your parents. Your community, your society, your social media, your friends. That you choose to be independent and choose from the plethora of potential choices, circumstances, events that you want. You create your own destiny rather than being a victim of situation, circumstances, person and people. Does that resonate? It's a tough choice because all you know, all we are wired to do is what this happened, therefore I am that. And rather, you can be anything and everything you want rather than being the same old thing. And that's a tough one because we all see ourselves as victims of person, people, situations and circumstances. Like some, the worst sometimes I hear, even myself say, I'm over it. I'm completely, if that's the most dangerous place to be. I've sorted it out. And usually, you know, well, you know, some, some of us were young, in our 20s, I got life sorted. I sorted my folks, oh yeah, sure, I am, whatever, my dad. That's the worst. Because you still have a reaction emotionally. We haven't completely let it go. In fact, how do you know you let something go? Like someone, some, sometimes some people ask me to, I'm over that relationship. I don't need that person. You know, you know someone who dumped you, you feel like bad, right? I'm over it. But I want to call them up. When will I be? When can I call them up and give them a piece of my mind now that I'm said so the moment the day you feel you never need to call them up is the day you're ready to call them up. The hassle is we still have some emotional reaction and it becomes if I use it, there's you, there's the situation, it becomes a tug of war. As much as you love them. You're drawn to them, but as much as you hate them, you're still drawn to them because it's an emotional bond. That's the tug of war. And as much as you pulled yourself away, you gave a reason, something to run away from. At some stage and age in our lives, we can't run. And we succumb to it because it's part of our identity that kept us so-called alive. So as much as we sometimes be careful with something we're too passionate about because as much as we hate it or love it, you make it fundamentally part of what you are. And where does that exist? Whatever we're describing, it's not out there. We give that scenario, you described it. It's a beautiful scenario. It's full of energy, excitement. Where does it exist? So it actually is not out there. It's within us. And how do you address it? Is to, with love and compassion and kindness. And you generally see is that it dissolves. It's the boundaries and walls that separate you. You recognize it is you. You understand? It, gave, it was great. And the reason we employed that, you employed and it allowed you because you saw it gave you success, achievement, all those things so you constantly use it but at some point it's like a, a spaceship that shoots off into uh, tries to break free of the atmosphere at some point gravity pulls it down and but when you actually free and you're in space you actually don't need those huge jet fuel pushing it you you kind of free off it you return you can but you can get pulled back into it but that's your decision but you have to look at it with love compassion and kindness even and, and look at the whole thing and what you do is you change what you see as the biggest misfortune into fortune. Your biggest curse as your, as your blessing because it gave you some push and something that you viewed as completely brutal, as compassionate. Then you've made peace with it. But other than that, it's still hanging around and it's within you. 
it's tough because you got to kind of find that balance and you see it for what it is. And you don't view it as negative, you view it as it is. Not neither negative nor positive, it just is. Yeah. So it's a it's a state to reach that we all need to reach. And even with the substances, so we don't, I will never go near a substance place again. It's all, you, you're kind of building that and hopefully it keeps you going till the day you leave this planet. At some level, it's, you succumb to it because it's completely within our head and you're carrying some emotional attachment to it, you know? So that's what happens and we all play these tugs of war and we've got tons of these and these are all tugs of war, I call them that because they pull at us at different ways. We, and you either give in to it or you're constantly fighting it. And it's tiring to be constantly fighting. You, you understand? So at some level, you, when you stop fighting, you kind of give in because there's an emotional attachment to it. But the whole thing is to, I'll share again with this, as we said, as we were saying, refuse to be a victim. But in order to be, refuse to be a victim, you show compassion, kindness, caring, and love. It's damn tough because we, we are wired to believe that, hey, we've got to be negative to certain things. Yeah. And that allows us to break free. Because what happens is when you, uh, when you dissolve this connection, then you actually, you are set free. You're not allowing yourself to be in reaction to that. Some, I know what's pushing you, but at some point, what then? You've achieved, now what? And then we, we're drawn back into it. And as you said, it gets worse because this is the energy, the fuel that was with providing you with something. So I know what you're running away from, but where are we running to? Resort back to our old the energy level because this becomes the norm. Except we do a bit of a more sophisticated form of that. So then you're not allowing yourself to be because of this. You're allowing yourself to be in spite of this. All right. Because if you, when you tell your life story, but is that your life story? That's, that's a huge aspect. But now you've got to define yourself by something more. And you're tr all of us, our true life story, we don't have something we're aiming towards. Whoa, break this. And then we, we're afraid because now you can choose what your story must be rather than this one. You know what I'm saying? And it's sometimes fascinating to meet people just to give us context of how to move forward who have, I look at some people I've met who have achieved and they still on their journey and will sometimes, not by them necessarily, but others talk about where they come from and they will downplay it because they do not define themselves necessarily by that story. They've got a more powerful story they're chasing. I know where you're coming from again, but it's more important where we're going to and how you refine and define yourself. And we don't like doing that sometimes because we become comfortable with the same old story.